Um, and basically, all I want to say during my time is I'm pleased to be chaired today's hearing, in as much as today is the first legislative hearing that we're going to try to discuss uh, real solutions that address several of the negative consequences that resulted from Dodd-Frank, and the, these in the areas that I just mentioned, job creation, capital formation, and market certainty. I'm also pleased that uh, we have with us today sub the subcommittee's five uh, freshmen. And basically, the freshmen have stepped up to uh, the role of sponsoring the five pieces of legislation that we'll be discussing from the panel shortly. And that is to address the area of promoting job creation and eliminating unnecessary government overreach were issues that they all engaged in during the uh, campaign of last fall. And now that they're here in Washington, I would say that these freshmen are proving that they can get the job done and doing something about these issues. You know, throughout the debate over Dodd-Frank in the last Congress, I often spoke about the many negative consequences. Both of these were both intended and some of them were unintended that it would cause. Now, some of those negative uh, consequences are being exacerbated by what? Well, by the uh, rulemaking process that we're going through right now. So my hope is that the bills in front of us today uh, will spur a productive and discussion and will continue here in this subcommittee throughout this Congress. And it will focus on ways to, as I've always said, get capital private capital off the sidelines, back into the marketplace, and create those jobs that we so much need. And with that, I will yield 